Tonight, the two candidates squaring off in the District 4 runoff election spoke at a public forum. Republican Amy Reichard and Democrat Monica Montgomery Stepp are running to replace former county supervisor Nathan Fletcher following his resignation amid a sexual harassment lawsuit. Our Sarah Allegra attended that event and she joins us live in Kensington with more. Sarah. Hi, Kathleen. Yeah, we're just a couple of weeks away from that special election taking place on November 7th. So District 4 candidates met with voters here today at Kensington Community Church to talk about the issues that matter most to them. Now, a lot of things were discussed here today, but housing, homeless and immigration took center stage. Homelessness is a key thing. It was that headliner that brought dozens of voters to Kensington Monday night. It's a conundrum. Something residents say is in dire need of a solution, asking the two lasting District 4 candidates for a fix. People seem to be most concerned about are the growing encampments. And this can be just moms who are concerned about getting their kids to school. Even when people do want help, it is not there for them. I think we have a responsibility to provide that so that people have a choice. Another forum brings Democrat Monica Montgomery step and Republican Amy Reichert once again head to head, all in hopes to fill a seat that's left voters without a supervisor since May. Don't like the idea of seven story apartment buildings on Adams with no parking. Housing also taking center stage in Kensington surrounding the contentious high density housing bill SB 10. I think that there just needs to be more thought um, around it. Housing is, is complex. Um, some of the um, resistance is, is noted. I do believe that we can build sensibly single family homes while still absolutely protecting our environment. Another crisis brought to the forefront lies at the border after the county's recent decision to spend three million dollars to help the thousands of migrants crossing into America. American soil. Federal government, this is your job. This is your jurisdiction. These monies were meant for struggling small businesses. This is a pu the public health agency. That's what the county does. We have to ensure the public health of all the people that step foot here in our region. Well, again, that runoff race is set to take place on November 7th, and whoever ends up winning this election will end up finishing out Nathan Fletcher's current term, which expires in January of 2027. For now, that's the latest here from Kensington. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News. All right.